podcast. And we're, hey, what's that? Can we do our intro for you? Yeah, can we do our intro? Yeah, that's, that's what I was waiting for. Oh, let's go. Do it. Do it. Let's go. All right. All right. I'm Chad. And I'm Jeremy. And together, this podcast, yep. this tag team, and this collective, Chad. we are you. Shut up. Ah! Yeah, yes. Yes. I like how you grab the mic, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a showman. What can I say? <laughs> Talking fun with Edo Podcast. Hello, everyone. It's Podcast Edo with another episode of Talking Fun with Edo Podcast. For our 34th episode, we have our 19th guest, Fusion Hop Podcast. And here is the interview. Hello, everybody. It's We're here for another podcast episode with our 19th guest, the Fusion Hop Podcast. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so from uh, the first question I have for you guys is who are you guys and where are you two from? Okay, we're oh. some black guys, yeah. no yeah. plan. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm we Jeremy. all are. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, and I'm Chad, and uh, we're from Houston, Texas. From, from Texas. Texas, and um. Yeah, man, we're the Fusion Hot Podcast. So, on that note, I was wondering. Um, on that note, it's like, how did you guys come up with the podcast name, and how did you guys find YouTube for the very first time? Okay, Shoot. oh man, I like this question. I love these questions. Um, so, we want to start with the name. How we came yeah, up with the name? Yeah. So, okay. Uh, the name is yeah. You you saw with that story. Okay. You're the one that named it. All right. So, Jeremy comes up with an idea for the podcast. He's like, hey, man, we should do a podcast together. I was like, nah, fam, I don't want to do that. Like, <laughs> I don't want to hear my voice. Like, I don't want to hear, hear that. But every time me and this guy go somewhere, if we go to conventions, GameStop, random places, if we yep. start getting into a lighthearted debate or a conversation just about anything, yep. people gravitate towards it. Mm. So, I don't know why. I don't, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. So... From there, I was like, man, Jeremy, you're right, bro. Let's do this thing. <laughs> so he's like, we got to come up with a name. And we were stumped. Yeah, well, I, I came up with the idea. like, what we're going to talk about, right? Yeah. And Chad was like, hell yeah. Well, he don't curse. He said, heck yeah. And so I was like, all right, cool. We got this, this, and this, and this. And I was like, uh-oh. I don't have a <laughs> So Chad, what, what, what's your idea? And he's like, give me a couple of days. Yeah. A couple of days <laughs> pass. And this guy. Yeah. Too. So I was sitting there. I was like, okay, we're going to be talking about wrestling, anime, video games, uh, comics, all that good stuff, pop culture, whatever. And I was like, huh, it's kind of like a fusion of topics. Dragon Ball. Fusion. Ha yeah. ah, ah, ha I got it. And I called him. Like, Jeremy, I got it. I got it. And the moment he said it, I was like, Oh, that's genius. That's genius. That's freaking genius. Yes. <laughs> and the YouTube side of the game, um, it was, well, because I was listening listen to a lot of podcasts and I noticed myself keep going to YouTube and everything like that when it came down to it, you know, especially like the visuals. Mm -hmm. uh, at first, it was, you know, it was audio and everything like that. So we would just, we'll, we'll do both actually. It would be like whatever audio uh, platform and then YouTube. Yeah. And, uh, Chad wanted to do the whole visual thing. And, you know, at first I was like, I don't know. But I was like, all right, cool. Uh, my wife happened to buy, um, what was that, Adobe Photoshop, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that same weekend, Chad, you know, I broke down like, all right, Chad, we'll record it. We'll see how that goes. My wife right. uh, did the whole editing. It took a week because, you know, she was learning the, the whole program and everything like that. And wow. bam. You know, now we start doing visuals a lot more because I was like, oh, shoot. And then I took over the editing, and now Chad took over the editing, and we both do the editing. And so Chad and myself have like different styles of editing, so you might see like the, I, I gonna say inconsistencies, but difference, you know. Of yeah, how, yeah. How it's, edit. it's different, Man. but it's like a good difference, because it's like, you know, it's like you never know what you're going to get, but it's not in a bad way. It's yeah. not like... Right. Our styles are so drastically different. Like, man, what am I watching? Like, it's so inconsistent. It's not like that. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, yeah, of course. Good, though. Yeah. Hmm. So, 
on that note, it's it kind of goes with like a little bit of like the same questions. Is that yeah. were like before you guys had this idea? But at sorry, before you guys had this idea, were you guys like best friends before the podcast? Yep, mm-hmm. just like, like my stepbrothers. Like, like how long? Friends? Like how long yep. have you guys been friends? How long Ooh. since high school? Yeah. I graduated 2004. Oh, 2004. I graduated yeah. with three, four, no, four. four. Yeah, four. four. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Almost 20 years. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. We, are, we have been friends for a very long time. Yeah, wow. Buddy. Congratulations on almost your 20th anniversary of being friends. Damn, man, look at it like You that, better give right? me something, too. Hey, you tell me, guy. <laughs> I got to get you a birthday gift already. <laughs> oh, you know, birthday is coming up. I forgot about that. So. Our next question is uh, kind of like the guys, like the, the topics that you guys talk about. And this was kind of like how I like first found you guys earlier this year on Instagram is um, when it came to like being fans of anime, did you guys first saw anime from the international channel? Holy moly! Oh, uh, that's a damn good question. Yeah, that no. actually, that's actually really good. You take, you go first. I'll tell him. Oh uh, no, not the international channel for myself. Now, have I mm. watched anime on the international channel? Yes, I would say UPN, Fox Twenty Six, and WB. UPN? Oh, really? oh yeah, you're right. You're right. It did. It did. It did. It did. Yeah, Pokemon first started out yeah. there. Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, for myself, uh, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, I actually was at my grandparents' house in Louisiana one time, and uh, Ninja Scroll was on. It was like on probably Showtime, HBO. Mm. It was probably a show I shouldn't have been watching at all. all. (laughs) But that was my first taste of anime. And, you know, I'm a big cartoon person. I love cartoons. I was like, man, it's different. Yeah. It's different. I like this. So. Then, you know, my mom also watches, she watches cartoons, not so much anime, but she did right, watch right. Dragon Ball in the beginning. And she put me on to, uh, like, uh, Dragon Ball Z, because I used to watch Dragon Ball. But then she's like, hey, that show you watch with that kid with the tail, Goku, he's on, uh, this on WB. I'm like, oh, nice. So yeah. I started watching that, and, man, it's been game over ever since. <laughs> and uh, when it came to the international channel, yeah, I started watching Dragon Ball on there. Because it got to a point where they stopped showing, like in the dub version, they, yeah, like, they yeah. stopped at the, at the Freezer like, Saga, yeah, like right when it right, 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 it yep. would stop. So I was like, man, I gotta get my fix somehow. And <laughs> it just so happened to be like seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night, and I'm flipping channels. And I get the international channel, and I see Dragon Ball, and the first thing I see is Yamcha getting a hand through his chest by Doctor Jiro. I'm ah. like, oh. Oh, damn. There's <laughs> actual blood on there, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, right, right. It's not censored. Like, what? Yep. Oh, and, but it's all in Japanese, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. any of it? No, but I understand hands and feet. And right. power right. of heat glass. <laughs> so I was good. So that's how I watched Dragon Ball. Wait, your mom was the one that was saying, like, it was on WB? Yeah, yeah. She's the one that told me that it was on there. Because I didn't, uh, you know, I would just watch cartoons. And she's a big cartoon. Right, right. Too. And she's like, oh, hey, that's that dude you watch, but he's grown up. And I was like, oh, man, yeah. what's going on? Yeah, it's funny. I have, like, a similar story. Like, that's not how I first saw anime, but I do remember times where I went to my grandparents' house, and yeah. it was like they had anime on demand. And I'm like, I love being what? at my grandparents' house. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, so out of all the interviews that you guys have done, who was like the best person that you guys have ever interviewed for like uh for your YouTube channel? Like the best person you've ever interviewed. Ooh. You asked two people, this is gonna be two Man. different answers, actually. <laughs> Should I get a political answer? No one's better than anyone. We love them all equally. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you guys. <laughs> uh no, um, my favorite interview, it actually is a tough one in all honesty because all of them have been good in their own way. And I know it sounds like the political answer, but I, I know, but I really mean it. <laughs> like, I think probably one of the most prominent ones when we did, we interviewed Josh Martin because it was right. our first. It was our first. Well, first big one. First big one. Our first yeah. big, like, interview, like, with a voice actor was, was Josh Martin. Yeah. And at least for me, they let me know. It's like, man, we're on a like, we're on a path. Right. Like, 
And honestly, from there, ever since then, it's been kind of up since then. Um, yeah, that's one of that's one of my favorites, really. To be honest, I still your answer. Well, yeah, I should have like, read your mind. No, nah, um, because the one we did, we can't even put it out. Oh, oh, I didn't even want to say that. Oh, all man, right. man, all we can't even put it. Wait, out. wait, like, what? Right. Yeah, um, we have yeah. one. Of- and we'll, we'll tell you because it just, yeah. this is, we just figured out. Yeah. Oh, is, it, oh, is this like an episode that's not here yet? It's like, no. Yeah. And then we it out. And we can't because we have no freaking audio. Like, I'm looking at it right now on my screen because I was in the middle of editing it and the audio just crapped out. That, but we that might have interview? a, we have, we might have a special feature like coming soon for an next episode for the fusion oh, cast. Hopefully, oh, man. hopefully, hopefully man. so, man. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can fix this, but yeah, uh, yeah, we're trying to, yeah, we're trying to salvage it, man. But that interview was really good. Um, our Galaxy Con interviews were actually really dope too. Yeah. Um, mm. we interviewed Sarah Winehouse, she plays uh, Power from Chainsaw Man and Brian. Oh, uh, yeah. OG Vegeta, man. Yeah. Oh, like, man. Super I'm nice surprised you didn't say that one. This guy was geeky. Okay. Yeah, oh, it was so funny. If you if you watch it, man, I couldn't even say a simple line is like you know what's what's his power level, right? Right. Something simple like that. I was like, <laughs> and he like, <laughs> gave me two chances. Chad got it right. I was like, first time go. I was like, man, let me do it because it's funny because <laughs> Jeremy is normally like. I'm not gonna say calm, cool, and collected because calm right, is right. a word I'm using nah, to describe I'm not a you. Calm guy. <laughs> but like, he's normally cool when it comes to stuff. I would say that he's right. normally cool. Yeah, man, this guy was just like, oh my god, <laughs> my afro would shake a lot. Yeah. <laughs> your wig, as uh, as ICP would say, it's like your wig was pushed back. Um, <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. it'll go back and then forward, then back and then forward. You know, yeah. so um, yeah. Oh, hmm. the one we did with Cynthia Kranz was really good too. Yeah, that's all. That, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh that's God. just happened. Yeah, that just yeah, that, that was happened. Happened. like that was that like, was we cool. <laughs> we were talking about really. Thank you for watching it. By yeah. the way, yeah, of we course, yeah. About, like, I'm, I was trying to at least look at at least a bit of all your videos before we did this the best way you. I can, of course. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, it's a lot. I know. Yeah, but no, I mean like content's content, so that's like that's the best part, you know. Yeah. So. On that note of like interviews, like how often do you guys like go to conventions? Like, like how many times like a year? Oh my God. This, <laughs> this year alone tops any year. Yeah, this year was probably the most we've ever gone. And just to the wow. point, I was like, I'm tired, bro. I don't know. If I yeah, keep going. yeah, we've. I don't know what's happened. It's a good problem to have. I'm not gonna lie. Right. Like, I'm we're not complaining or nothing like right. that. But, right. We've just been really fortunate this year mm-hmm. um, as far as, like, being able to be part of the press and to be able to go yeah. talk to different people. Like, we've been through the Dream Con, which was amazing. Right. Comic Palooza is our hometown con. Yeah, yeah, we're, mm-hmm. yeah Comic Palooza. No, yeah, we love, oh, we love Comic Palooza. It's yeah. such a good environment, man. We went to Anime Mansuri. We went to Bedrock Comic Con. It was just, we've been to so many different ones. This year, it's right. crazy. Like, yeah, we're just being Like, cool. now we're, like... We may go to one next week. I don't know, but after them, like, bro, <laughs> like, hey, yeah, I got to do got one in December, homie. Oh, I forgot. About that. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> and peep this mess, man. It's around okay. my, me and my wife's sixteenth wedding anniversary. So we're going up north, you know, uh, to uh, Fort Worth. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in December. So I was like, oh, snap! And I got to find like a restaurant to take my wife. <laughs> yeah, sixteenth anniversary. Yeah, I've been married sixteen. Well, I will be married sixteen years. Oh, okay, married. Okay, I got you. I got yeah, you. Congrats, yeah. congrats. Well, yeah, thank you. I ain't married to this guy. You know, we just friends. You have we could do better. Ooh. I guess, like, probably, like, on that note, this, like, mm-hmm. this question probably went along with like the one we just answered of like, for that yeah. note, like, what would your favorite episode be? But would your interviews would be just as favorite as the episode itself, or do you guys? Have like different favorite episodes. Oh, I know one of my favorite episodes right off the top. I let me, let me go first. Let me go. Let's see if we gotta see. It was the music one. We we talked about like our favorite video game music. I was okay. buzzed, right? I was drinking. I was drinking while podcasting, and I was like, what made me laugh about it was because Chaz wanted to edit it, right? And I just, right. when he put it out on YouTube, I watched him driving to work one morning, and I was like, this guy tolerated me. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Cause I'm like, rah, rah, rah. oh my god! I'm like this, this geeking the hell out. Cause like, it's- I remember there was one point you were in your seat. 
Yeah, I was doing that. Yeah, I was wilding the hell out, bro. Right. I, like, ah. I remember that. My, the reason why, I, I you know, because I was like, damn, I was I was wilding the hell out. In my eyes, I was, and I was loud. I'm like, this dude right. tolerates me. But you got an alarm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's a work alarm. And so um, what I remember about it was that moment. It was me and my best friend talking about like stuff we grew up on, you know, video video games. That's the topic, right? And it's the movie. Yeah. And, then, and like, I was like, ah. And he was like, yeah. You know, so that's like one of my like top favorites for me. Oh, I got some other ones, but I'm going to let Chad go next. Yeah. Um, Actually, one of my favorite uh, episodes that we did was with our guys at WBL Podcast. Okay. Uh, that was actually one of my favorites. Uh, wait, wait, wait. On their podcast or no, ours? On, on ours. Okay, okay, okay. Because so at Comic Palooza, we met two groups of uh, two podcasts: the okay. WBM podcast and the Phantom Nerds podcast. Um, we interviewed them actually like one week after the other, right? Like we did yes, actually, the Phantom yeah. Nerds yes. and that. Those two podcasts were great. We had we hadn't interviewed any other other podcast members, you know. So yeah, it was it was definitely pretty cool to be able to do that. But with the WBM podcast, it was like we were kindred spirits. It was so cool. Yeah, Jesus. I'm so sorry. I just had like a deja vu moment for some freaking reason. I was like, "Y'all like you need to hey, cut or something?" Hey, no, no, no. I'm, I'm like, sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I, I just, it, it felt like I've done this for some reason. That, 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 that song, like deja. Vu. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like I was just. Oh, the alarm. Sorry. I just had a deja vu moment. It's okay. Oh, you're good. You're good. Hey, I'm just trying to make sure you're not clocking out of yeah. life on this on this interview because I was like, uh, oh, no, I, I think we're. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're still good on that. All right. Oh, no. I'll, oh, okay. You didn't catch. Okay. You, you didn't catch what I said, but that's fine. That's fine. I thought you was like, "Hey, hold on, cut real quick. Uh, we gotta do so real quick." No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I just had a deja vu moment. Yeah. Um, for those that don't know or haven't seen me, I often get those at times, just oh, randomly. Okay. You know, oh, it's we. It just felt like it's like, did I interview these guys before? And I'm like. I know I did not. I know. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, you know why you feel that way? It's because hmm. Loki fractured the timeline. Yeah. Like, you know, when Loki, when he, you yeah. know, when you know, know what Loki did. <laughs> so when Loki did that, like, it all split out. So yeah, right. he done it to another timeline. Yeah, oh, you talked to us already. About like, yes, maybe. maybe yeah. The timeline. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Instead, I said, I had to throw and he was bald. Yeah. He, like, switch. Yeah, right, right, right. right. And I was oh. a cat, he was a dog or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Our next question is, is there other collabs that you guys like to interview? And on the note, like for not only just like um, for interviews, but also for anime, is that would you guys like to interview VTubers? And if so, which ones? Oh, okay. Uh, VTubers? I'm I'm not going to lie. I'm shooting for the top. I want to be, I want to interview the RDC world, man. Like, oh, I love wow. those guys, man. Like, they let oh yeah, RDC. Yeah. Oh man, because like their their style of storytelling, the way they tell their stories through anime, it's right. so relatable to the experiences that I know I had growing up. And the way <laughs> I kind of think of anime moments and video game moments sometimes, and it's like when I watch it, I'm like, bro, why are y'all in my head? Like, why are y'all in there? Like, can you get out? <laughs> like, I would love to interview them. That would be an amazing interview. Um. Uh, one of ours, like we're trying to shoot for the stars. Uh, Sean Chamel, you know, aka Goku. You know, okay, the American Goku, not the not the, <laughs> not the, the Canadian o- Goku. Like the OG, like the person that did it, like first. That no, no, not the Canadian. That's a Canadian Goku. I'm talking yeah. about okay. Sean Chamel. We talking about Funimation Goku. Yeah, he's a Funimation Goku. Goku. Yeah, he's a Goku. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I know this. Uh, because the Ocean Dub Dragon Ball Ocean, Z. That's oh, yeah. all. That's Canada. So yeah, yeah. Uh, him. Uh, this guy's local right here in Houston. Booker freaking T. Booker T, yeah. I want to interview. Oh, my God. That would be so time. Take my damn pick out. <laughs> oh my I didn't God. even know you had a picky. Yeah. I would freak out, dude. That would be so good. <laughs> we ain't got to drive for maybe like Texas City or whatever. Or probably when he like come by, you know, back to Umble or whatever. Like, that's not a trick for me because, you know, I live out like in Katy, Texas. Oh, that'd be dope as hell if we just interviewed that guy, man. Oh, my oh, God. That God. would be so good. Uh, YouTube-wise, uh, I don't know. Especially VTubers. VTubers? Um, shucks. Damn, I wouldn't. 
I like to interview myself. No, I'm playing. I'm not no, on no Kanye West stuff, man. <laughs> it's like okay, you made a VTuber of yourself. <laughs> you want, you want to interview Jay? I want to interview Jay. Jay. <laughs> Jay. Nah. I don't know. Um, shoot. You know who? What? I lied. Chris Van Vliet. Oh, Chris like Van Vliet. A yeah. Van Vliet did, bro. That is all, oh, man. Chris Van. He's one of my inspirations, bro. He's I, so I good. See. I see he's it. so good, man. He's so good. I would love to. Inter- I love his style of interviewing. Yes. Because. What we go for when we do an interview, it's right. Okay, so we know celebrities are celebrities, right? But yeah, it's all about treating them like they're people. Like you have to humanize yeah. them, and that's what I've noticed. Like when we do interviews and we're just like chit chatting, talking or whatever. That's normally how the, these interviews work. We'll just we'll strike it like with Cynthia Kranz. We yeah, were just talking. It. We were we were bonding. We were having the most adult conversation ever. Right. And by that I mean we were talking about. Taxes, HOAs, real Go estate, the weather. weather, the yeah. weather, like why we need people to get out of Texas, like be gone. Like we were talking about stuff like that. Like, right. That came from like during the COVID and all that stuff. We were talking about like, hey, yeah, yeah, yep. yep. And we were just talking as people. It went from that to we were talking about, hey, we were here to interview this person. Um, she was like, y'all have a podcast? And like, oh, that's cool. And we looked at each other. It was like, <laughs> so I was like, Chad, give me your bag, and I got got a card. I like Dee. this guy, extra man. Ah, you know, he legit did that too. Like, that's no exaggeration. No, I'm not exaggerating. He now. legit spun the circle, that. and I handed her a card. Like, we got a podcast, and she was like, I was like, I would love, we would love to interview you, and she was like, Yeah, and I like, can we do it today? And she was like, Of course, and I'm like, Oh my god, this is happening. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Sorry about right. that, folks. We had a little bit of a technical difficulties, but before we uh go back in, so it's interesting you said RDC because my very first video I saw of them around six years ago was about well, us like watching anime, and yeah, it was, okay. like once I saw that, I'm like, I'm instantly subscribed, and <laughs> dang, there would oh, dang, there was something else that happened, but. I guess it'll it'll come back to me probably either later or in when we do this interview. Okay, let's just let's go on to the uh, the next question now. Yeah, there you go. So if so, if you guys could live in an anime world, which anime world would you guys want to live in? Easy, Attack on Titan. It's not even close. (laughs) 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 You're hurting that man over there, man. I hate myself. Apparently. Hey, I got the perfect <laughs> answer. Hey, the Pokemon world. Why would I live, any, why would I live anywhere else? It's not even like why. Yeah. I get the cuddle with Snorlax all day. Like, what more could I ask for? <laughs> oh, Which shit. is my favorite Pokemon, by the way. Yeah, he likes Snorlax. Him. Okay. Nice. Dang, I'm trying to think, man. All of them are crazy. I'd be lying if I said Hamtaro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I would never. No, no, no. It's not that. I'm gonna get to it and say it's something different. I'm Wait, gonna get to you, it once you guys you finish. In, you can live in Yugi's world. Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, yeah. man, I won't be playing gambling games, bro. <laughs> gambling my soul. <laughs> ooh, ooh, Outlaw Star. I, I always go back to Outlaw Star. I was watching. The, uh, I was soaking in the tub yesterday. Like, yeah, like a big boy, and watching Outlaw Star. Man, I need to go to space. Man, that's cool, man. Katar, nice. Kataros and stuff like that, dude. Right. Man, not it, yet. That's new through death, all right. You ain't lying. Like it, I know it's not the same, but it all like often when I look at outlets, like I'm, I'm like I said, I'm not saying it's the same. I just it really just like in a good way, it really reminds me so much of Cowboy Bebop for some reason. Yeah. Yes, there's nothing wrong with what you the, said. The aesthetics, I think, is no lies it detected. It's, it's <laughs> the aesthetics, I think. Yeah, like the um, anime style and all that. It's funny, like you guys were saying, like, um, like Hamataro and Yu Gi Oh, because that was actually my very first anime I saw. So that was like, what, what, like, once you know, when we get to the opposite side, I'll explain more. But also, yeah, um, the thing I just remembered is, um, you guys saying Ocean Dub, and it was like a few days ago. I was like watching the Zillion show and the <laughs> um that the the movie uh, that was done by Ocean Dub. You guys heard of Zillion, right? Zillion? No, I have no, not. This is new to me. Okay, so I'm a 
I'm a I'm a sing you to show, and I'll also like while I'm editing, I'll show like a visual there too, and okay, probably like I said, explain a little more from the other side. Okay, so okay, um, cool, cool, cool. It, okay. So our next question is going to be our second to last question before we get to our main like almost last event type of thing. So okay. it is um if you guys can appear in an anime as a show as a voice actor. Or even as like anything else, would you guys would want which type of thing would you guys want to voice act? And would you guys want to do only English, only Japanese, or all of the above, like international for voice acting? If you guys did voice acting just for anything, oh, that's a deep question. I like that. I like your question. Thank you. No, Chad first. Go ahead. Oh, oh, ahead. I need to do that. Oh, uh, I'll do it first. I, okay. I know so, my answer. If I can get one of those voice boxes that they had on Solar Opposites, where it can like make whatever voice I want, so I can speak perfect Japanese, I would do all of it. Mm. Oh, I see what you're talking about. I would. Mm. I would do all of it. But mm. since I've limited to English, I would have to do English. Okay. Um, so my favorite anime is um, whoa. <laughs> my favorite. My favorite anime is One Piece, and I really think that I would like to be on One Piece as a Straw Hat. Mm. Probably, you know, better than Luffy, you know, when it becomes <laughs> Chad Peace, you know, and there's something like that. There's something like that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I would love to be uh, either either on that or JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, okay. Boy. If I can hit my pose. This guy here. Pose. And you speak all the languages. <laughs> yada, 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 yada. Uh, me personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say nothing specific. Me, I would like to be on, of course, first of all, like all languages, if I could speak all languages, like, get, like, right. like you said, uh, intergalactic, intergalactical freaking Google Translate. Yeah, yeah Google, and I gotta yeah. be a character that yells all the time because I love like how they be yelling in, J in Japanese, like <laughs> you know they do all that stuff. But what? <laughs> <And me, laughs> like like Chad said, I'm never like a just calm guy. Like I'm cool, but I ain't really calm all the time because I be yelling and giving out freaking promos. Be like, what are you doing? Sitting there looking like a punk ass, crying and stuff like that. You go kick freezer right in the tail, something like that. You know, yeah, I'll be the angry black guy. I'm good at being angry. Black guy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The skill you've mastered. There's, <laughs> there's a meme of that where it shows like Debo say it's like quit crying and come on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> come on, exactly. Just be yelling and talking <laughs> trash the whole day, man. I'd be some like like some dude or a background character or a character for one episode, right? Like, like giving out wise information, drunk possibly. Talking trash and giving advice, but I'm yelling at them or whatever. Be like, oh, that was my teacher from like 20 right. years ago. Be a sage. I'd be like, like, there you go, a sage. <laughs> Shut up. I know that's an inside joke. I know what that means. You like, jerk. Um, as <laughs> animated, real life, or both? Oh, mm. I like to do both. I would do both. Okay. To act it out. Oh, man. Because, like, so if you watch that Cynthia Kranz interview we did. Yeah. Doing, and matter of fact, uh, I, uh, one of the guys from the WBM podcast, uh, Mr. Merck, shout out to WBM podcast. He said he did. He actually did like voice yeah. acting, like they like went to a convention. Yeah, and nice. he did like voice acting. It is not easy doing voice acting. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. and Cynthia Crane yeah. said the same thing because dude, you gotta think about it. It's already done for the Japanese. Right, right. It's not. It's like, like regular shows. Like when it's animated, it's just like, all right, we're gonna we got the lines for you. Just say these lines and leave. But it's like you know. Because it's already filmed in a different place, even yep. vice versa. When they send in our stuff and they dub our stuff, it's like, yeah, we go. We just need you to just wait for the buttons. Like three, two. Yup, exactly. That. Yeah, they were saying it, and I guess so. The way that I know the way I pictured it growing up is like everybody meets in the room. They're hey, hey, what's going right. on? All right, let's record. And they're all yelling for at a each good other. part. Yeah, they're like, they're like, no, we're all separate. Yep. And. It's like yeah, you guys make like magic the happen. You're all separate, and it's like you have yeah. to record this small line in this tiny space because you know you have to account for the Japanese, like how, how they speak. So you right. have to make the English words in the pronunciation it match with what yeah, they did. Yeah. It's like audio sync. Yeah, it's yep. like, this is crazy. Like you guys do this. Like yep. y'all should be getting paid, man. Wow. A whole lot of money, dude. Like this is impressive. And they don't get yeah, paid and it's crazy. Too much, dude. They don't get paid enough, in my opinion. Definitely, then, man. I often kept thinking they would all like for our stuff, yeah. Like when we do like making our own shows, we would all meet in the same room. But I was like, dang, they don't even yes. get to meet in the same day. They don't do script no. readings, bro. 
it's like the only one that came a little bit close to that was um Super Milk Chan because they kind of had like a different right. version of that. Right. And um his or her circumstances, it's translated as his and her circumstances, because they kind of have a little bit of that. Yeah. But like those are rare though. Those are su- super milk chan in his or her circle. I don't even know if you guys heard of those two anime. Super milk chan, I have heard of. I've heard of. I've never even heard, heard of it. So I'm out. I'm outside. I'll be you. showing the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. So I'm like, oh, what are you talking about? I'm like, let me find out some naughty stuff. Why? Now, nah, well, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, well, <laughs> well, hey, I've, uh, funny, funny. That's the next question. I'm going nah, like, <laughs> his or her circumstances. You guys heard of that show too, or no? I haven't no, heard sir. of that one. No, sir. That one I haven't really lo- watched a lot either, but have heard about it. So. Our last question before we get into like the ending topic is okay. um what are the forms of media of uh besides like voice acting would you guys like I see you guys like got wrestling and you guys talk about music would you guys like to be in that type of the world as well in like the wrestling world and also like the music world as well of entertainment mm-hmm. and stuff it's funny that you say that because yeah. that me and Chad met through band. He played the trombone, I played the saxophone. Yeah, that's in how high school, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Wow. And then we actually had a class together too. You know, yeah. uh, like in band. Like, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. <laughs> and the wrestling part, we yeah. became more cool when he, when this guy and his is a friend of ours and another friend of ours, him, this guy named Chris, kicked me and this other guy named Fernando's ass. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that's how we became friends. Like he <laughs> saw me and my friend Chris because we always wore our wrestling shirts and talked about wrestling, whatever. So right. him and Fernando walk up to us. They're like, "Man, we want to fight you guys. We want to wrestle." Yep. We're like, "All right, man, meet us in the band field at three o'clock." So I was like, "Okay." Yeah. So of course, me and our friend Chris, we put on our wrestling shirts. We're like, "Man, we're ready. Let's go." <laughs> and then this guy and Fernando walk up to us in luchador masks. We did. And then we're just like. Oh man, they're ready. They're it's about to get real. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly the same what we're about to do. It is. <laughs> so we're over here doing wool, we'll putting them in a figure four wall, the Jericho sharpshooters. And then it's like afterwards, it's like shook hands like men. Yep. Right. Like, yeah. We're friends now. Best now. friendship story ever. <laughs> yeah. And to get back to your question, so yeah, um, I, I mean, I'm not gonna speak to Chad. I'm gonna let Chad speak for himself. But hell yeah, music. I would love to get into, you know, uh, dive into that. Also, uh, shoot, if I could act, if I could do music, live stuff, anime, whatever, man. I would love to everything. You know, yeah. Partake, heck yeah, dude. You yeah. know, life is too long, and sometimes life is too short. Yep. So, right. Oh, damn. Live bars, bars. I like that. Uh, shout out to TK yeah. Kirkland. On that yeah. Too long part. Yeah. Um. Yeah. TK Kirkland, baby. There it is. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I feel the same way, actually. I am very passionate about music. Like, I listen yeah. to all kinds of music. He like, does. I'm, I'm like a music nerd. I love I love <laughs> it, though. Um, acting, I like acting as well, and writing and things like that. Those are my passions. Wrestling, oh, obsessed Rest. with wrestling. I love wrestling ever since I was a little kid. Um, mm. We have been trying to kind of get our toe wet in water when it comes to wrestling. Mm. Uh, we're working on it, so hopefully Join we're able to kind of break the door down and get in there like we did with the voice acting. Yeah, Hopefully that happens. Wait, hold up for a second. We got internet it? skills. I've seen them. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, man, I would just love to like get our our whole way get in and then just jump jump in the pool of wrestling, man. That would be so great. Uh, Cause there's so many local wrestling promotions around here, so mm. I think if we really put our minds to it and figure out and, and get in there, we this guy, man, I thought we could do anything. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that. Two buddies together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the power of friendship, baby. Yeah. You know, right, right, right. You can never have enough. You can never yeah, have fairy tale you who, never man. have too many. Fairy tale who. Yep. <laughs> Deja vu. So now we're going to move on, which is interesting because I think you guys kind of answered this like a little bit. It was um, now we're going to the segment of. First and favorites. So okay. uh, the first thing we got is like, what is your first, you guys' first and favorite animes of all time? Oh, um, my first anime of all time is going to be Ninja Scroll. Um, that's my very first one. Uh, my favorite, man, my favorite has changed because yeah. my tippity tip top 
was Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. That was my favorite. But now, I'm King of the Pirates, baby! The War Beast is real! <laughs> that is perfect. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. He's like, he did the same he did he did he Oh, did that is going to be so perfect. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, man. Um, But One Piece? So with One Piece for me, I would go to comic book conventions. I would hear people talk about it. But I was like, I tried watching right. One Piece as a kid. And not going to lie, it was trash. I'm just going to say that. Because it was on... It was on uh Fox Kid. It was on Fox. Yeah, the four kids. The four kids. That's the one you're talking four, about. Four kids. Severely edited. Like Sanji got a lollipop. Like you a grown man doing flick flack kicks with a lollipop. Like I can't trust you. I can't watch this. But then when I started, I started. I'm like, oh, this guy. Oh, he's smoking a cigarette. Oh, he just right. He's got bad habits. Okay, I'm not mad at that. Um, I can't but, stop eating these lollipops. <laughs> yeah, <I know>. diabetes. <laughs> I thought yeah, I thought he had the lung lung fruit or something, man. But that's why he was able to live for so long. But no, I, as I watch One Piece, I have not seen an anime that has the world building oh, yeah, that right. One Piece has because it is top notch in world building. Building, they make you care about every single character. And yeah. unlike Naruto, you know how in Naruto, like in the fillers, they'll be like, "Oh, we're gonna see this guy again," and you never mm-hmm. see him again. Like they didn't come up in Shippuden. You didn't see him in Boruto. Nope, they gone. Like, but in One Piece, <laughs> in One Piece, all these oh, characters, shit. they all mean something. And you know, right. One Piece has been on for over twenty years. But like these characters, twenty four, yeah, up, and they're meaningful. They come back up in meaningful ways that I've never seen this level of world building. Like I thought, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and Attack on Titan had it like in all world building. Out. Yeah, yeah, but right. One Piece, One Piece. Just the goat, man. It's it just, it's there. It's your place, right? Yeah. yeah. What about you, Jay? You don't uh, have to talk about anime all day, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is that man, <laughs> bread and mother freaking butter, right? So for me, uh, first one, this is between Sailor Moon and, you know, the uh, original Dragon Ball for the first, I can't remember. First time, okay. Yeah, first time, you know. Uh, but favorites, man, I can name you a couple of them. Um, I base this off of, like, how many times I watch them over and over again. So. Right. Uh, I guess my number one, if you know to answer your question directly, would okay. be uh Samurai Champloo. Ooh. All right. Oh wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, that's my jam. Me and my wife could watch that all the time. Like that's like she told me like about three weeks ago. She's like, yeah, I was watching. I was like, man, you ain't watching without me, woman. God dang. You know. So it is what it is. But like, I can watch. I can watch Samurai Champloo over and over again. I can watch. I'm about to say One Piece for some reason. Uh, ah, <laughs> uh, it's in your heart, bro. Don't yeah, worry about I it. I mean. <laughs> Um, I can watch Outlaw Star over and over again. Right. I can watch Samurai Pizza Cats over and over again. Oh, can... yeah, boy, Samurai Pizza yeah, Cats. Yeah, boy, and I can watch uh, <laughs> Sergeant Frog over and over again, bro. Sergeant Frog, oh yeah. Shoot, I, thank you. Lucky stuff. Netflix, my homie. Mm. Okay. Uh, so I'm not sure if this would go with the same because now we're going to in the reading category would. Okay. It'd be the same for the reading version, like for manga. Is it the same okay. for first and favorites, or is that? Um, who I can't even remember my first manga. I can take my first comic. Uh, yeah, we can uh, go with my that. My first too. comic was actually it was like a book that was like this big. My mom bought me from like here to the floor. My mom bought me this book. <laughs> it was a comic, but it was like a game. It was like all like the Marvel characters and stuff like that. Okay, from okay. There, like it was on. Like I reading comics and stuff like that. Um one of my favorite, my favorite manga to read. That is tough. Ooh. Um because it's actually not one piece. I think uh maybe Naruto. I really enjoyed Naruto Shippuden yeah. as a manga. I really I loved it, man. It was so good. Uh Demon Slayer is really good as well. Um, I'm binging that. Well, I'm done with I'm done with uh, Demon Slayer now. Yeah, they just been. I I'm not sure if they're actually finished, but they just finished like the the the. I, I forgot what season it was. But don't worry, the text will help me out. But it's like they just finished this season. I'm not sure oh, if it's the last last or they're gonna be like we got another one. Yeah, <laughs> all right. They just well, another see, movie the way, again. The way the manga ended with Demon Slayer. Oh, I can, I can see it being another one, mm. but I don't know. I don't know, um, but I really uh, enjoyed that manga. Um, spoilers: they they finally have Nezuko talking again. Yeah, 
Yeah, which, which was like... I'm not sure if that happened in the manga, though. Uh, in that way, uh, you say spoilers, I mean, but I'm kind of like, duh. I like, <laughs> spoilers I mean, for the anime version. Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure if the manga, yeah. Yeah, uh, no, the manga does. Um, But yeah, man, Um, I read a lot of different mangas. Like right now, I read a Chainsaw Man, which is like, yeah. real. Really? Chainsaw Man, it's one of my favorites. It's my favorite one that I've read this year. Like, I mm. love Chainsaw Man. It's so good. Okay, uh, uh, I don't read mangas, but I can tell you American comic books. <laughs> okay, so sure. So my very first comic book that I got, like, man, I have to be like either nine or ten years old was a Bart Man. Like, the Bart, oh, from the Simpsons. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, man, don't know what happened to it. Like, oh, like time just gone. Uh, so, favorite comic book, uh, and it's funny, you think I'm going to say Deadpool. But like mm. comic book, like one comic book was the Old Man Logan series, believe it or not. Oh, no, the, I can the, see that for you. The, I see he's that. like, no, I'm going to tell you why. I had literally, in a Saturday morning, laid in bed. And I mean, I just like, just like a little like high school girl, just kicking my feet up and just laying down like, <laughs> reading it. I was reading, I think it's like seven volumes. I read all seven in that morning. It's that good. It's like, basically, it's just Wolfram being him and Hawkeye being dope dealers, if you think about it. Yep. Nice. That's how I looked at it. <laughs> Driving from California to New York. Got that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> so that's my favorite. Like out of anything, and I read a ton of Deadpool comics. Mm. So, so one of our next things. So when it comes to anime, I'm not sure if you guys have listened to it, but when it comes to anime, we got the J-pop in there. So oh, for that you. note, do you guys know what was your first J-pop and what was your favorite? J-pop artist of all time? If you oh, know. Okay. I don't know, so it's okay. all chat. <laughs> all right. So, Just chat, all right. Okay, okay, okay. So, oh, God, I forgot that lady's name. This is about to be bad disrespectful, but I'm sorry. Like, I I, I got to say it. We'll help, say we'll, I'll help you out in the editing process. Okay. So, when I when we interviewed Cynthia Kranz, I right. asked her a question. I said, a smile bomb from you. Oh, you're right, 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 right. I had one of the greatest songs ever. In right, anime. right. But I heard the Japanese version. I was like, oh, yeah, I don't want to listen to the same thing. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you no, don't want to um, listen to the OG original? <laughs> no, man. I need the, the endless versions. Slap and slap for, for a good so, 30 to 50 percent. Good okay. 30 to 50. It's okay. So let me see. Um, the name of the lady who sings. Oh, I can't remember that lady's name. Sarah White, Sarah, I think. Yeah, like, yeah. Sarah Sarah White. I looked it up one. I yeah, see. We yeah. About it. yeah. I found yeah. a picture of her. That was wild. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it. Yeah. Shown but, again too. <laughs> but my favorite, probably my favorite band right now hmm. is uh, Yasobi. Yasobi, okay. It's up. Def Yasobi, Man. Yasobi, Yasobi. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. I was. I I watched um Idol this year. Idol, the love, love, love idol, or the. Um, oh, I, I know so... what you're talking about. This, I know what you're talking yes. about. Show screen. That is so. That song. I'll be in the gym. <laughs> I I love that song so much. It's so and good. it's so sad. <laughs> yeah, and it's funny because it's a, it's a messed up song. It's it's kind of right, messed up. right. They but got memes so, for that. <laughs> and you know, yeah, and they, you know they have that one song, the one that's about like you know, do 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 yeah. do do. That song is so so happy. I was like, yeah. I look the lyrics. I'm like, depression. Oh, emotional, <laughs> emotional damage. Right, right. Oh my god. <laughs> I have nothing to say. I don't know none of that. Ecstasy changes. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, I love listening to anime when I work out. Like, like a lot of Attack on Titan. The Attack right, on Titan right. song. Oh, oh my god. Oh, uh, and uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. This new intro. Oh mm. my god, so so good. Mm. So oh, this year, this year is marks fifty years of hip hop. So, yes. yeah. do you guys, do you remember, like, what was your first hip-hop artist, and what is your favorite hip-hop artist of all time? Oh, this is funny. Oh, my God. I don't mind. It is. The first you that you like, or that you it's, heard? It's mad embarrassing, bro. It's, uh, mad it's okay. 
We're all okay. It's okay. Like, we're all here for me. Everybody's here for me. Is this a safe space? Is that what y'all are saying? Yes, yes, it's a safe Maybe space. I don't, worry. don't worry. I ain't never heard of a safe space before. But it's a safe right. I promise. Here, so I promise. Yeah. I have interviews where we cuss. So it's like, it's a safe space. Don't worry. Yeah, oh, I could. Oh, 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 yeah, no. I'm just joking. I'm My good. first, it's the, okay, so it's weird because I love music so much, but I feel right. like I didn't listen to music on, like, on time. I'll listen to it later. Like, like, Ooh, like, like, I wasn't too. really like into Tupac and Biggie. Right, so, right, right. Like my generation, they love them, but I'm just like, so. you were different. We were RVD. Really yeah, RVD told us <laughs> like, what you want? Um, but my first uh album that I ever bought was a Men in Black album, a Will Smith album. What the Will yeah. Smith? Okay, yeah, okay, I see. Yeah, man. Oh, no, no. oh see, you said it was a safe space. <laughs> no, I, it is. It's just like what's been going on recently. It's just like you know, yeah, I'm gonna just that, have like pray for Smith. Will hashtag. I, I love Will Smith, man. Like, right, I, right, right. Of course, so of course, with a passion. Like, yeah, I, yeah. Sand doesn't, bro. Man, so I just, I'm gonna put a pray for Will hashtag. It's all oh, good. Pray, for God. pray, pray for the God, man. Pray for the goat, man. I love Will Smith. I read his book. It's yeah, so good. yeah. But I'm yeah. not gonna lie. I started reading Jada Pickett's book, and I just you want to see garbage. I have it. I get a free book every month. Oh, okay, never mind. So I was just oh, like, wow. yeah, I was right. just like, this book worm here. Mm. And I just like, because mm. I wanted to hear from like I had to hear from this perspective, bro. I'm like, right, right, right. Like I just gotta know, like, what are you like? Why? But I'm just listening to it. I'm just like, I'm a... your life, her life. She does have some stuff in her life where like I can kind of relate and understand. Hey. Certain things, yeah. but I'm like, nah. none of them got nothing to do with Will, though. <laughs> like, hey, I'm just saying, hey. like, they ain't got nothing let's to do with that. Yeah. Let's get back to the hip hop part. Oh, sorry, yeah, because she ain't the artist. Get that uh, lady. We're, we're, that we're lady. there. We're there. Oh, sorry. Oh, um, my. Like, working this uh, way. Yeah. I don't like. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. My my favorite, probably my favorite artist. Um, I love I love Kanye West. I know everybody hates him, but I get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. he's oh, he's getting I, I, old Kanye. Or the new Kanye. <laughs> Musically, <laughs> we're not gonna act like Life of Pablo doesn't slap. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> we, we're not doing that. Yeah, that we're not gonna. Be on, <laughs> it's beyond decent. It was beyond decent. But anyway, <laughs> Kanye. And I love and I love Drake. Drake. Don't Drake all right. Me. All right. Drake. Drake. Like I never, I didn't understand the hate for this new album. Like I didn't get it. Like it was actually really. Yeah, good. It was cool. It was really good. It was cool. But what about you? Remember, it's a safe space. It's all good. It's all good. Not, not in this room. He's only <laughs> gonna, oh, speaking of that, he's only going to have albums from 1990 to 1998. Like, that's where it stops. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> because then I'm like, I'm like him too, because I was like, you know, I guess matured in music later on in life, right? In a way, um, yeah. And I, and I can lie, like, he, he did kind of name, you know, the golden era in hip hop to me was uh, 1997 and on up. In 19, okay, uh, gotcha. <laughs> I would say the first guy, like, that I really was like, oh, this was good. I actually was, as a, when I was younger, I was a Timberland Magoo guy. I, not, yeah. Black Round, what was that? Black Round Entertainment or Black Round Records is what it was, man. They had a lot Black of. Black Round, yeah. They had some dope artists in that. But. Favorite to answer that question. Um, damn, who would be my favorite? Because I am you can go Lil Wayne, you can go Jay Z, you can go yeah. Rick Ross, man. Like, them, like, them, them guys on the shit. Ah, but damn, that's a good question. That's all like, damn, Chad gonna give you a show, yeah. Um, I think, I think we got it. <laughs> right. So, I would say, yeah, I would say, like, I like Jay Z's uh, four for four album. I'm gonna go Jay Z, okay, yeah, because like, it's it's that album told me that he matured. You can't yeah. talk about Big Pippin, you know, yeah. no more like that, but you married with, you know, four kids and stuff like that. You know what yeah. I mean? Or three, no, it's three kids, my bad. He got three kids. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm talking about how to get money and like how, how he matured. I he say it, it would be the Apology album. <laughs> In a way, it, it was, though. It, it really was. You're not wrong. Mm. I, I, can, I, can mm. that. I didn't even listen to it. I'm giving it a guess. Yeah, no. I mean, it's, I mean, it is though. It's it a song on there, yeah, because it's a song called "Kill." The very first song is called "Kill Jay Z," and it mm, kind of yeah, about, right, right, right. It kind of talk about that briefly, but it also talk about just his journey growing up to become the man that yeah, he is. Yeah, how how him. did this happen? Why right. am I like this? Yeah, you don't Here's hear a lot the of story. Yeah, just you don't like hear a lot the story of, of Pablo. Why is Pablo? 
Yeah, you don't yep. hear a lot of that with a lot of uh, artists, so that's that's yeah. why I would say Jay Z in a way. Yeah. You know what I'm mm. saying? If he come in, boy, people listening. Yep. Think about that. Just a mm. feature. People listening. Mm. God did. That was that's like Dude. one of the craziest ones. It's like I remember I was listening to the uh, Joe Budden podcast, and they were like, mm. one of the dudes was like. Yeah, man, that song had uh, Rick Ross and Lil Wayne. Like, they were good, but I deleted their parts off the song. I was just listening to Jay-Z's part. Like, that's all I wanted to hear. Like seven minutes, And man. I was like, you, what? Dude, that's blasphemy to me. Like, you can't delete oh. anything that's playing on there. But, yeah, the Wayne, though. But I'm like, I give like, ah, like, you know, I, hey, that's your goat. That's your goat. Whatever. Oh, right, right, right. So, I would say this also, like, went into this. So, um, do you guys remember, like, what was your... First movie and favorite movies. Yes. Oh. First or favorite? Um, the first movie that I could let me see that I can really remember that has like imprinted on my brain is yeah. Unfortunately, Chucky. Oh, damn. oh it, it, the, the, they got problem. a new season. They got a new season. Oh, it's so good, man! He does a kill on there. It's the most gruesome. <laughs> stabbing I've ever seen in my life. It was crazy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I was terrified of Chucky as a kid. Oh, yeah. Terrified. Oh, yeah. And I remember my mom and her friend, they were like, I wanted to play Nintendo. And they were right. like, you play Nintendo, but you got to watch this movie. Ooh. So I'm like, oh, look at the doll. It was, cause there, it was just, all I saw was the doll. I didn't know. I was just like, <laughs> oh, okay, the next thing I know, he over there. <laughs> so, you're talking terrible. about the first one right the first like yeah. the first child's play yeah yes oh this is this is the oh, the nes days this is the yeah. yeah oh yeah oh yeah um my like a favorite movie um i have a pro like i don't really re-watch movies i only watch them once because i like mm. i i enjoy like the experience of watching a movie so like let's say yeah, I absolutely love Endgame. Um, okay, Avengers Endgame, love Avengers, it. Okay, it was like one of the best wrap ups to a, a series that I've a ever saga seen. Saga too, yeah. Now, I'm, yeah, yeah, they wrapped up three hundred movies perfectly. Yeah. A nice little bow. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I want to go back Thanos. To- yeah, I know, right? Exactly. They defeated the God, man. Right, right. Hey, Thanos, Thanos was right about some of y'all, man. But I'm just saying, that's a story yeah, for another yeah. day. Um, <laughs> but I want to watch that movie so bad, but I can't. Why I not? I don't know. I yeah, don't know. why not? Because I, I feel no, because I feel like I'm not gonna enjoy the magic. Like, no, oh, it won't. Okay, I see. I see. Well, that, but you know, you can also go back and say, like, "Damn, I don't remember that part." Oh, snap! I don't remember that. There's that. that. Yeah. Oh no, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but one of my favorite movies. Um, oh, here we go. Let me think. Come on now, you got it. Wait, one used to be the butterfly effect. But oh, okay. I've grown into like a movie, like not a movie buff, but I love movies, and that movie was good, but it wasn't like that. Good. I think it was the personal favorite. Like yeah. this is the end, another personal favorite. I love that movie. This so, is yeah. the end, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love that movie. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say, um, dang, what is the name of that Wait. movie? Are you asking questions? Because damn, yeah. you got him. Yeah, you stumped. Um, oh my god, I can't believe I'm spacing on it. Why am I spacing? It might oh. come back. Okay. One of my favorite movies, it's a movie that I actually watched later in life. The Lord of the Rings. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, the whole God. thing, right? So, huh? The whole, I like know. the whole trilogy? Yeah, the whole trilogy. Yeah, yes. So I didn't watch that until like 2015. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. Um, I bought like the... Um, the DVD set? The 3D, the 3D. Yeah, the whole, set yeah, the whole thing, yeah. yeah. I yep. bought the box set. Yep. yep. It happened to be like I was at Walmart and I was getting stuff and it was in there. Like I didn't even put it Ooh, in there. This I'm looks like, interesting. I was like, right. I gotta watch this. Everyone said it's good. They laughed at me for not watching it. People been asking me to do this. <laughs> yeah, so it right, right. I love those movies. They are so good. I have to watch the Hobbits. I haven't done that yet. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How about uh, I, right? Uh me. So first movie, that's Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That could be anything, man. That I could just say, who ever be this <laughs> back in 1990? Uh, <laughs> that's why I say you asked some good questions because we're actually thinking, and that's good though, because we're thinking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Um, right, right. I will say, damn. Maybe like I think who framed Roger Rabbit, man. Okay, oh, that was your first, kid, right? Classic. You said it first, yeah. Classic. Yeah. It's a okay. classic, bro. Um, yeah. Months and then, like later on, like you're like, oh, this, this, and this, right? So, yeah. uh, favorite. Yeah, this is easy because I went back to it a lot. I used to babysit these kids when I was fourteen, and they mm-hmm. had these movies, like the Friday movies. Like I like the Friday franchise. The Friday franchise. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. And I always watch the first one over and over and over and over, and over and over. I think I was like Chris Tucker because it was that between that and Rush Hour 2. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those are really good ones. Heck yeah, man. So, so those, those are it for me, man. We got favorites. Yeah. Speaking of like horror, especially since Halloween is coming up, even hence why I'm wearing this orange shirt. We it, uh, not even just because of like the volunteering thing, but it's like it's the Halloween. So um, I was wondering what you guys are going to be doing for Halloween. And also on that note, like what was like your favorite Halloween costumes that you guys dressed up as? Like at any point, it doesn't even have to be like, yeah, it could just be at any point. Um, in costumes, so what I'm doing is going to be working. And my youngest kid, y'all know, right? My youngest kid is actually born on Halloween. And then day after that, his birthday coming up. So, hmm. Oh Lord, you know, <laughs> so I got stuff right there. Oh, uh, and then costume wise, man, uh, well, cosplay, I would say, would be Hercule because everybody like it because they're not, you know, they act real like, yeah, Hercule, real life Afro, bro. And people, oh, okay, okay. And, um, actually, it won, it won me some money, uh, doing Hercule, and it also won me a pair of shoes. It was like last weekend, I was in the Halloween, co- uh, me and me and this fellow here went to a Halloween costume contest, which he should at least be in the top three. Yeah, that, that I got, I got, got no. What, we, got, what no, were you no, wearing? We, we, we got, we got beaten by these dudes who did uh, Devil May Cry, uh, both Virgil. Oh, and, uh, what's the game uh, guy? Dante, Dante and Virgil. Dante, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, they, they posed, even how they walked out. They walked out with some much, so much swagger. Even I told Chad, like, "Damn, Chad, ah, uh, they gonna yeah. win it, dog. Uh, yeah. I already know it." I spoke into it. This is possibly, but like, no, it was just how they did it. I was like, shoot, because they look good, and then how they pose, and even the walk. I said, "Damn, with the swagger." I had to take the microphone. Well, I asked the 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 host, right? The microphone, and I just act like Hercule. Oh, you! Yeah. <laughs> I'm the champ. I had a, a AEW championship and everything, bro. And I'm right, saying, right, right. Have you been sell what? Yeah, that's one of the champ. I did all that, and like, I was like, I'm surprised I was second place. <laughs> a lot of you. And well, that's my story. Yeah. <laughs> um, for me on Halloween, I really plan on doing nothing. My kids are gonna go trick or treating. Uh, they're gonna go out or whatever. Um, and I don't want to do anything. I'm gonna actually enjoy doing nothing. I may hand out candy. I don't know. Um, I actually love. I love Halloween. Like Halloween is cool. Don't get me wrong. Like, right, right, right. I love cosplaying, and dressing up. But I was like, I want to chill this year. Uh, yeah. One of my favorite costumes, uh, I, well, cosplay, uh, I used to do Captain America a lot. That was dope. Um, I had like a nice Captain America costume. And uh, my actual, my most recent costume was one of my favorites too. Uh, it's the Fiend from WWE, Bray Wyatt. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's one of my favorite wrestlers. He just passed away. Right, uh, right. So I love doing that costume because, you know, the Fiend's one of my favorites, even though he was a broken wrestler. Like, that boy was, that boy was broken, couldn't be defeated. But it was weird. But I still loved him anyway. Uh, but, yeah, those are my two of my, two of my favorite costumes. I don't think my kids are dressing up this year. Oh, my, my oldest daughter is going to dress up. Okay. But nobody else is dressing up. Before we move into, like, the last, last thing, because I, I was I was thinking it was just, like, I'm like, this is the perfect time now. Is um, okay. So... I heard you guys like talking about wrestling too. So I was wondering what was like the first wrestling thing that you both seen and what is your favorite like wrestler of all time? I can actually answer that oh, first part. Oh, that was a, oh, that was a, oh, that was a, oh, this okay. is apparently according to this guy myself. You want me to go first? You go first, bro. Okay. So when I was younger, I'm going to start with this. I didn't like wrestling uh, until like 1999. And the reason why I didn't like wrestling at the time because it, WCW used to play on Saturdays, right? Saturday right, morning. Right. And when like I see like Ric Flair and them guys uh doing their Saturday shows, I'd be like, hey, man, no more cartoons. I gotta go outside and play because I love cartoons. <laughs> and so the very first episode of SmackDown came out in like I think April of 1999. 
Okay. And it was the main event. It was on UPN. Like, like you know, UPN mm-hmm. at the time was like kind of well. It been sure, like, it feels like UPN had everything. It did. it did. It did. You know, and the thing was, oh, I seen the main event of SmackDown. It was The Rock versus Triple H, and uh, Shawn Michaels Rock. was the. Uh, actually, that was the first first episode, but like the very first episode was a pilot episode. Jim yeah. Cornette and Shane McMahon was actually doing commentary. Rich by the McMahon. way, Look, yeah. So by the way, that's that little, little nugget of uh, information right there. But the first air episode was that, you know, and I remember just having to turn the channel. And I was like, "What's going on here?" You know, Triple H and Rock going in and just boom, laying the smack down and all that stuff. And the Rock about to do the people's elbow, and then you know, Shawn Michaels hit him with the sweet chin music, and I was like, "What is going on?" And then Triple H won the match. I'm like, I can't see more than this. What is this? <laughs> First episode of SmackDown to air on a Thursday night. And then ever since then, I've been hooked since 1999. I've been watching it for 20 plus years. Right. Trust me. Lord, 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 Lord. Uh, I would have to say. Nia Jax? No. What the hell? Wait. What? This I dude? didn't catch it. Watch her this Monday. She cannot act worth the damn. But anyway, uh, ah, oh, man, I shucks. Who I could watch over and over again? I think Shawn Michaels would be it. I could watch him. Shawn Michaels. Over. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you got that. You got him. Stone Cold Steve Austin. You gotta love some Steve Austin. Steve, uh, Steve Cold, Cold Austin. Yeah, man. Stone Cold Steve Austin, and then uh, freaking the obviously the Rock, bro. The, the Rock. Hell yeah! Finally. No, I can smell what the rock is cooking. I know. So hell yeah, dude. Like I like the OG ones, but if you talking about something current, matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you who I like currently. Okay, you gonna answer that question truthfully? Brian Danielson or uh, Daniel Bryan, bro? That okay. guy. I think when he left WWE, and I know that's your guy. That's your guy. You stole my answer. I know. Oh, I can go see him punk too. You can't and- my answer. <laughs> Brian Danson, dude. Yeah, I don't know, no, dude. Hey, Brian Danson, dude. I I didn't even watch the, the the pay-per-view match, right? That he had with another wrestler. But the promo he did, like just off air, and like I guess they probably used a phone, was good. His cadence was perfect. Like as he I like, kept talking, his voice got higher and higher and higher. And I was like, I want him to wrestle this guy again. He's as Chad say, the goat. He's the goat. He's the goat. The guy's a guy of wrestling. He's, he's a wrestling guy. I had to give him, give him his propers, bro. Right, right. Chad? Well, now that you stole my answer, I guess <laughs> I'll... Um, so, guess we got to go with first, then. Just only first. Yeah. <laughs> you explain why he's your favorite, too. Okay, so when I was a kid, I would go to the barbershop with my dad and wear, <laughs> like... They would get their hair cut. I know, right? Why are you laughing at me? Don't oh, laugh. Yeah, right. I saw you laugh. Don't laugh. Yeah. Don't laugh. Yeah. Don't laugh. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> but no, so when I would go to the uh, barbershop with, with my dad, when I had luscious hair, I, right. would, I would um like go in the kids' room and they would have wrestling on. And I remember I would just see it but wouldn't really pay it any mind. But one day this dude came out. It was all dark and eerie. <laughs> and it was a pasty, pale dude that come out. He'd be like, yeah, I saw him. I got the Undertaker. That's my yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and so I was terrified. <laughs> I was so scared of the Undertaker and Paul Bear, but I couldn't stop watching. Mm. And that's when I, that's when it was there. It was over for me. Like I was in love with wrestling. Um, my favorite, my all time, Shawn Michaels. Well, he, I think Shawn Michaels is one of the greatest wrestlers that's, that's ever walked the face of the earth. Um, right. The, uh, Stone Cold. Um, yes. Even though Triple H isn't my favorite wrestler. I love what Triple H has done for wrestling. Like while being about like him, yeah. while being a wrestler and like now what he's transitioning yeah. into. Right. It's a, it's like the greatest story wrestling story ever. Like right. he's gonna get a movie back. It's gonna be amazing. Oh my God, he should. I like how you think yeah, about it. It's, it's gonna be amazing. Um but as far as newer wrestlers, like Jay said, Brian Danielson is probably my he is my all time favorite wrestler. Like I never thought I would see anybody that could surpass Shawn Michaels to me. But it's Brian Danielson. The way his style of wrestling gets unlike anything I ever seen is like he has like rest like athletes and people like they have like that call it like a gear shift. Like right. some people can shift into that next gear and they can go. Yep. But Daniel Bryanson got another gear he can go in, Bruh. and he's just 
you can't stop this man. It's man, it's, it's incredible. Does, yeah, man. Um, I love CM Punk. CM Punk is my spirit animal. CM is, Punk. I love CM Punk. I love what he stands for. I love the fact inside the ring and outside the ring in his personal life, he does whatever he feels is right. And I can respect that. You know, some people may not like it, but yeah. I can respect it because right. doing the right thing is hard. Like, we all know that. Sometimes it's easier to just be lazy, to slack off. It's yeah. uh, harder to do the right thing. When you yeah. know, like, man, I want to play Spider-Man too, but I know I got to edit this podcast. Oh, that's my life. That's my life this week. Cause, but I did it, though, you know? Um, Responsibility with great yep. power. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I like that. I see what you did there. I like that. And another uh, wrestler uh, that's one of my favorite favorite wrestlers right now is Will Ospreay. Okay. What are you about to say? Kenny Omega. Oh, I love Kenny Omega, but bro, I love Kenny. Kenny, I actually love Kenny. I take a lot of my cool podcast things with him, but <laughs> Will Ospreay, I'm, he's another he's person. Magical, I've never seen anything like this his level of intensity and he has those gears like brian danielson which they need to wrestle by the way why have that why does that happen? just wait that needs to happen just wait but this man i watched a match with him and uh uh speedball bailey from impact wrestling hmm. that match was cr- i'll show you when we i was just sitting there like this <laughs> I'm like, what are y'all doing? Like, <laughs> you can't do it. This is real life. Like, this ain't that thing, my boy. Like, what are we doing? This boy was doing some flash kicks. I was like, this is crazy. This is crazy. He was hitting kicks like Chun Li. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those are my wrestling takes. Okay. Uh, so, one of our last things before we say our farewell is yeah. what other projects do you guys have coming up? And, where could we like find you if if anybody would like to connect with you guys? Um, so the next project we got going on, like uh, uh, we mentioned earlier, us uh, right now we're going to what's that uh convention in December? Oh, uh, so we're going to Anime Frontier. Yeah, Frontier, there you go. Yeah, that that'd be so. We'll be though. going there uh in December, December eighth uh, through the tenth. I think that is. Yes, exactly right. Yeah, we'll be going there. Um, also, I don't know when it's gonna happen because mm-hmm. I we gotta look at the episode numbers. But I heard right, the episode right, is right. gonna come. Right, it's about to come up, and we're super excited about that. Like right. that's like a hundred episodes is crazy. Like I can't yeah. believe we made it this far. Like it's cool. You guys made it to a hundred episodes. Yeah, we're about yeah, to. We're, we're like we're, in the nineties. We're, we're in yeah, the we're getting there. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad yeah. I'm helping out with this too. Yeah, man. yeah. So thank, thank you, you, thank you. You're very well. Thank for you guys for coming. Yeah, you're yeah. part of the journey. Actually, yeah, man. So. Yeah, you oh, thank you, man. man. No, hey. this ain't this ain't buttering you up like bread, homie. Like you are gonna be part of that yeah, journey. Yeah, so. so thank you, man. So oh, thank you, thank you for having Thanks, us guys. on. Here. Yeah, thank you for coming on our show too. That's gonna be right, really super right. Excited for it. Um, Collaborations. Right. And speaking of another collaboration, it's, uh, we got to talk to them eventually. I'm, I'm going to hit up uh, Fernando. I'm gonna say oh, that. yeah. Because they want uh, so the WBM podcast, uh, we actually bump into them at, uh, what was that, Bread Rock Comic Con? And mm-hmm. like, we just having a bump to them, right? Like, we were just talking and stuff like that, shooting the, you know, shooting the ish. That being said, um, I know uh, they want to talk about video games. You know, Kingdom Hearts, yes. they, you know, they want to talk about Kingdom Hearts. Uh, a couple of guys, me and a couple of, like, actually, like two of them, we, I, we love Metal Gear. And I just bought like the uh, collector's edition, which I've heard like I basically bought the same game twice because I bought the uh, like the not the HD version, but I think it's like the Legends or whatever it is. It's the same ish from PS3. You know, it's on PS5. I kept hearing reviews about it. Yeah. I ain't even unwrapped it right. yet, but I'm like, I need to buy it. I like HD collecting stuff. Version. Yeah, I like collecting things, so that's one of the things. Because just last night, when I was literally in the tub, I bought uh, Marvel Superheroes, the fighting game, for <laughs> Sega Saturn. Don't you judge me. You got a Sega Saturn? I got a Japanese Sega Saturn. Oh, I can't yes. wait to tell you the story about that when we uh, Ooh, do yeah. interviews and stuff. Sweet. Uh, but yeah, that to answer that question, to get back to your questions. Um, yeah, so probably in November, sometime in November, I don't, don't know the date. Don't don't ask about the dates. We we yeah. have set it up fully, but we know that's the month. Yeah. We're gonna work with the WBM podcast. Oh, yeah. And our guys from uh Phantom Nerds, we gotta oh, yeah, we got, in there too. Yeah, we gotta work with them guys. I got too. a cool idea for that. Oh, yeah. that's gonna be hmm. fun. And as of now, like uh before we talk to you, like me and Chad trying to figure out like how to 
get more subscribers, views, and everything like that. Right, right, right. How to take this thing to the next level, yeah, man. Like, right, you know, aesthetics. Right. We're trying to change aesthetics too. Eventually, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. bought some new lights. So yeah. Ooh. Actually, well, yeah. I mean, shoot. I mean, this thing right in the sun. Ah, I get it over. <laughs> yeah, man. And it's cool. It's so like, hell yeah. Yeah. Um, and how to reach us. You want to do that? or? You... Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, we talk we, a lot. Yeah. We are the Fusion Hot Podcast. What you up, can though? catch us on Instagram, yep. at Fusion Hot Podcast, really across all socials. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> whatever it's feeling like it, uh, our YouTube channel. You can find us on there, man. Um, we put a lot of dope content out. We've been getting some great interviews. Yep. We're doing great stuff ourselves, man. It's we're interacting with the people. So yeah, yeah man. So that's you can catch us there. Uh, I mean, and if you like serious, serious like your business inquiries, uh, our website, our website, my bad, our email, uh, it's Fusion House at twelve twenty nine at Gmail. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever said that. Wow. Wow. Fusion. Oh, well, we that. Yeah. Hi, with two A's. Uh one two two nine at Gmail. All righty. Well, thank you guys for your time. And now it's time for me to say farewell. Goodbye, everyone. Bye bye. Hey, hold on. Let's play in the way we don't Man. Do I'm Chad. And I'm Jeremy. And this is Hello, say your Hello. stuff. Hello. Oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, mine. Okay. Yeah, and Talking this is fun with Edo Podcast. All right, man. And we the Fusion Hub Podcast, and we out this thing. I hope you guys enjoy the interview. And for the 35th episode, coming soon will be the link of the Fusion Hub Podcast interviewing me. So be on the lookout for that. So now the shout outs for this, it goes to CJ, Sweet James, Trix Gun, Brian Fix TV, Zamok, New Beginning with Jaws, Abdul Hakeem, Jack the Elbow, an upcoming band, Char the Animator, The Masked Man, VXXC, Armilio, Janai, VTuber Janai Yokai, Kiki Lockhart, Nexva, Ari, and Ari Gwen. And for our old school shout outs, we got Sweet, Megan, Cobra Kai, The Viral Podcast. Congratulations for them for their 100th episode. And Howard, a.k.a. H-Dub. Of course, another episode of the podcast is coming up. And for my main channel, I'll be having an early Thanksgiving special of an update of stuff coming soon. And the last thing I want to leave you on this note is happy Halloween, everyone. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Talking from with Edo Podcast.